Now we're going to talk about the calculate function. The calculate function is really complicated for beginning users of DAX. I one time went on a project where every single measure that they created in their and their data models use the calculate. When I asked them why, they said, well, doesn't calculate do math? Don't we need calculate every single time we run calculate? And no, that isn't true. So I'm going to try to simplify what the calculate function actually does. It's very powerful inside DAX. And I'm just going to, by the end of this three to five minute video, you're going to really easily see what calculate does. First though, measures always use the filter context in your Power BI visualizations. So let's talk about the filter context first. Once you understand the filter context, you will easily understand what Calculate is doing. So if you go back to your Power BI PBIX file and you look at the tab called filter context, you'll see that every single one of these visualizations are using total sales. Total sales, right? Over here, total sales, right? Down here, total sales. Okay, so let's get a quick review what total sales is. It's just that sum, the one we created in the very first or second video, that sum over order line total, that sum that gave us 1.35 million. So this uh, visualization over here that's using total sales, right, broke it down by what? By year. And this one using total sales broke it down by year and month. And this one that uses total sales broke it down by country. And it's the same measure, but the filter context has changed. The filter context for this visualization is different than the filter context for this visualization. To complicate it further, the filter context is also using that DAX formula that's in the measure based on the slicer. So this slicer here, this is the filter context for every year for every product. And this over here, the filter context for total sales for month and year, right? And if we click here and say, what is it for condiments? Notice that all three visualizations change. Or what is it for dairy? All three change. Or what is it for seafood? All three change. But it's important to note that it's the filter context that is uh, get, being manipulated, not the measure. The measure never changed, right? It's always sum of order line total, right? No matter, no matter what these values are showing, it's summing order line total according to what the filter context is telling us to do. So that's filter context for one. Let's look at filter context for two. What we see is the same, right? Total sales, right? Only this is by month in a line chart. And if we look at filter context three, now, we're, what's over here? Look, total sales, the same measure. What's, what's this visualization? Total sales by year, the same measure, right? In this case, if I click 2007, you'll notice imperceptibly my, my map changes. If I look at 2006, the map changes. If I look at 2008, the map changes. Let, let's look at one value here. 100,000 in the U.S. in 2007 was 121,000 in 2006 was 41,000, right? So this is still total sales, but as the visualizations interact with one another, we are changing the filter context and we're getting new values, even though the DAX in total sales is not changing, it's staying static. So hopefully you're understanding that the filter context is controlling what values the DAX in your measure are producing in your visualizations. So the filter context is very powerful and it's important to understand what, what goes into the filter context so that you can understand what math is being applied to your DAX measure. Okay, in the next video, we'll talk about the calculate function. And finally, this is how you can get a hold of me if you need to. There's my Twitter and my email address and of course my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe and get more videos on DAX and Power Apps and data engineering and cloud data and other things that interest me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, have a great day.